Oh no. Perfect. Hey yo, we're playing Bad Jordan Case 1. This, yeah. This super game. Oh. R-U-N-D. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. Oh god. Let's watch the intro. So, so you'd I, like to hear about how I got into this mess? Yeah. How a regular guy ended up half a world away, yeah. unconscious in the backseat of a car, but yeah. to a guy he thought he could trust, but turned out to be his worst enemy? Yeah. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Nah. No, no. I should start from the very beginning. It's the best place, after all. No. Oh god. My name is Ben Jordan. I was just your average college graduate. 22 years old, who works at Target. Degree that got me nowhere at the same no, he works at Bullseye. <laughs> I guess. As a kid, I was in love with monster movies and anything to do with the paranormal. Uh -huh, of course, my of course. My family thought it was just a waste of time. That's my grandfather. Hey, Jenny! He had a curry while traveling through Europe in the 1920s. This really fueled my interest in the paranormal. By the time I finished high school, I was obsessed. I wanted to travel and see if the legends were true, uh -huh. but I had to put my dreams aside and go to college to appease my parents. Aw, oh, shucks. Is I it a kid? Too, too bad. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know anything it is anymore. Why do you have red hair? One day I was browsing the web and found a book Wait. called The Paranormal Investigator's Handbook. It's, it's a famous... Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Oh. I immediately and read it cover to cover the day it arrived. Of course, Johnny. It was then of that course. I decided I was going to become a paranormal investigator. So yep. after graduating, I asked my parents Resume. Money, paranormal I investigator. I fight ghosts to see. I'm rolling in. Hey, Mom. Dad. I'm going to become a ghost hunter. Wish me luck. I'm going to fight all the ghosts. At the time, I had no way the ghosts. The, the spooks. The spooks. I'm going to capture them all. I'm going to become my hero. Case 1. In search of the skunkapa. <laughs> Okay. My first case started off with me receiving a phone call. Ring! Not one I was very happy about. No, Mom, I, I told you. <laughs> what? I am a freelance paranormal investigator. What, Mom? Why can't you understand me? Gosh. I'm a paranormal investigator. You never support me! Well, so you know, there's something out there. Look, I have to go. I'll call you back in a few days. I have to fix my face. Goodbye. I, I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. I went on Fort Chan. It's like, hey guys, I fight your ghosts. <laughs> and Evelyn made fun of me. Yes, this is Ben Jordan. Yes, I fight ghosts. How are you today? <laughs> A skunky murdering people on the floor to Everglades? A skunk -a Okay, I'll go there as soon as I can. What did you say your name was? Ranger Morales. Okay, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. This guy's like has a good diverse range of motion sure weird, and emotions. But I've got a case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a case. Victory is mine. Hello. Hello, I'm Ben Jordan. Zero uh, out of sixty-eight. What? I'm afraid not, young man. Oh god! Look at his lips. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's got like bags under bags. Come with me. Come with me. I don't have time to explain. Well, Get in my shirt. He is. We found him here about an hour ago. My god, what did Look at that! My eyebrows have exploded! The work of a creature that up until now was just a legend. But... A monster known as... A monster. The skunk ape. Say, Christopher Walken. I start my investigation. It was a monster! Oh, he's, what's it? There's some dude back... Oh, that's your little... Oh, he's getting away after him! I'm gonna investigate him. He smells like a skunk. And an ape. The mutilated body of the ranger is stretched out on the dirt. <laughs> Bodhi? Wait, did you say Bodhi? The mutilated body of the ranger is stretched... Bodhi? Oh. oh. It's her. Asking him questions at this point. He comes back to life. Well, I saw it. Oh, oh my Feeling gosh. slightly nauseated, you examine the body more closely. Ah. <laughs> uh. He's got pick hair. it up and place it in your purse. My Did I say purse? purse? I meant pocket. What, what, what's that? Um. You search through the ranger's pockets. That's his pocket? That's a really it. weirdly positioned. It looks, it looks sideways. It looks like a face, kind of. It's like a face. So you'd really rather not handle another man's organs. <laughs> Keep your fingers out of the ranger's face. 
You can talk at the ranger all you like. He isn't going to respond. I like how they got like some redneck accent. <laughs> the ranger's like... midsection has been torn open by whatever attacked him. Several of his internal organs are visible. However, you notice that his liver seems to be missing. Of course. The stunk ape needed his liver. I'm gonna go he to that building. He needed a transplant. He needed an organ transplant. His daughter. His daughter, skunk ape. Go to the building. Stop making out the ranger. Go to the building. Go to... Where are you going? I'll talk to the ranger. Are hey. you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just... He's the murderer. Okay, so I'll book him. Asking that particular item a question won't get. I I didn't. I want to question. Excuse me. No, no, no. Yes. Murder. Skunk ape. Park himself. Goodbye. The uh, skunk ape. I don't know about the skunk ape. I don't know any specific facts. The skunk ape was always more. Of a the skunk ape is a very rare creature. But I Wait, whoa, whoa. What is this? What exactly I think that's like things know? you can do. As controls, what is a skunk ape? What is a skunk ape? Part exactly? skunk, it's part ape. Similar to a yeti or a sasquatch. Except the skunk and an ape. Skunk ape because its trademark is a horrible smell. Some have described it as being a mix of rotten eggs, moldy cheese, and dung. That sounds unpleasant. <laughs> it is. Oh, Ben but Jordan, you're so wacky. So Wait, two out of sixty-eight. Down. We win. I Wait, guess. maybe that's like steps to get to the end. I heard. Did you hear that? That's all for now. Oh god. Okay. I think the skunk ape's close. Thanks for all your help. No problem. <laughs> if you have any more questions, I don't care. Go away. <laughs> You open up the rope. Thank God. Where's the ranger center? Yes. The door leads into the ranger. I don't even give a crap, Ben Jordan. Just go in the freaking door. <laughs> oh my God. Ben Jordan. Go in the door. Go. I'll do everything for you. <laughs> I saw Smokey the Bear. Yes. You don't think that poster would look particularly good in your room? What are you talking about? You've got a you've got a Pink Floyd giant poster hanging above your bed. Right <laughs> that hey, would dude, fit in perfectly. I haven't been much today, I'm afraid. All right, Rick. Can I ask you about some stuff? Sure. What's up? <laughs> sure. What's up? You're Ranger Rick, aren't you? Nope. Yes, I am. What can I do for you? <laughs> my name is Ben Jordan. I was called out here by Ranger Morales. Who was that? <laughs> He's just staring so intently. He's like, I'm gonna figure you out. Okay, what is your me. deal? The skunk ape. Can you tell me about the skunk ape? It's terrorizing the woods. Anything else? Not really. It was a great talk, Nick. Terrible, aren't they? Bad enough to lose your code. Smash the keyboard, man. When the public are victims too, hopefully something can put them. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Let's suggest that you find someone to go into the woods with and try to track down the skunk ape. Let's do it. The guy should... Well, Ben, I'd love to go with you. Really, I would. But with the sudden appearance of the skunk ape, things in the woods haven't exactly been in balance lately. It oh, wouldn't no. feel right going out there without some protection. I've got a rifle. No, I didn't mean that kind of thing. Well, I guess we could look for a pharmacy or something. But I should tell you, that's not my thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with... Ben, I'm talking about a nature amulet. Oh, a nature amulet. Oh, oh I should have known. My bad. Where can I get one of these? Where can, where can I get one of these nature amulets? It attracts good nature spirits. So if I can get you one, will you come with me? Sure. Okay, so how do I do it? It's complicated. The base is made from an ancient earth object, like a boulder oh, or a rock. You'll need some animal hair to make a string so the amulet can be born. And the amulet needs to be blessed by a shaman. Got it? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. 
Okay, I'm going. Get. I have hair. Use the hair. The hair feels hard and bristly. The hair feels. I wanna. You don't wanna give that away. Yeah, I do. Put an end to you, Rick.